The New Orleans Saints added some depth to their receiving corps this Monday, signing Brian Edwards to a short-term contract. Let's talk about this move. Why it might be not the most exciting signing in the world, but it could pay dividends for the Saints right here on the Straight Up Saints podcast. You're listening to the Straight Up Saints podcast. What is up, Houdat Nation? It's Chris Vogel of the Straight Up Saints podcast presented by Boot Crew Media. came out today via Nick Underhill that the Saints are signing Brian Edwards to a contract. The official terms are not out yet. I'd imagine it's more towards a short term, not a major salary. We're talking about a player that didn't have a great 2022 season. Now, you probably just heard me say a player didn't have a great 22, uh, 2022 season. And you're saying, well, why does this matter? I don't think this is one of those type of signings where it's like, holy crap, I can't believe the Saints got Brian Edwards. This is it. Like, no, and I'm not going to lie to you. What I'm going to say, though, is Brian Edwards, if he has to be the fourth receiver on the Saints next season and everyone's healthy, that is a good move. We're talking about a guy that has a history with Derek Carr. They played for two seasons on the Raiders, 2020 and 2021. And in that 2021 season, his second year with Derek Carr, he had 34 receptions for over 570 yards and three touchdowns. Now, is he great at creating separation? No, that isn't his strong suit. But he's six foot three. He's a big bodied wide receiver who can make plays down the field. And I think for the Saints, you look at the receivers they have Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid, very speedy, shifty type of players. Michael Thomas, great possession wide receiver. It doesn't hurt to add a guy that Derek Carr knows and trusts who he could throw the ball to down the field and expect him to come up and make a play. And I think for the Saints, that is the type of signing that you make at this stage of free agency where it doesn't break the bank. It could pay dividends towards the end of the season, and there is familiarity there, so you don't think the adjustment is going to be huge. Derek Carr and Brian Edwards are going to learn this system together, and that's okay because they've been doing that for two years. So I wouldn't put too much stock into what happened with, new, with, uh, with the Falcons and the Chiefs this past year for Brian Edwards. It didn't work out for him. It is what it is. But if you go watch his 2021 tape, you can say, all right, that is a salvageable piece to put in this offense, and you can get okay production out of Brian Edwards. Can Brian Edwards be a 350-yard receiver for the Saints, a 300-yard receiver for the Saints? That would be good because Olave is getting you over 1,000. If Michael Thomas is healthy, he's getting you over 1,000. Rashid Shahid, if he is healthy and playing a full season, he's getting you 600, 700-plus. So, no, not everyone the Saints sign is going to be and a thousand yard receiver, an 800 yard receiver. Brian Edwards doesn't have to be that. We're talking about a guy who, in his second year, 570 yards, that I think is great production for that type of player. So if he gets you 400, 300, hell yeah. I mean, it's depth. And by signing him to this roster, I think the Saints put themselves in another position where if they don't love the wide receivers they're picking at, all right, you got four that you like going into training camp. That's a good start, and you go from there. So, overall, it's a solid move. Yes, I know. I'm being positive. I've been positive on a lot of moves this offseason, but I don't see you could see this signing and go, what the hell are they doing here? No. Low risk, potential decent reward. There's probably no risk, if we're being honest, when we see the full terms of this contract. But anyway, Saints sign Brian Edwards. We'll see how it goes from there. Do you like the move? Do you dislike the move? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to Boot Crew Media's YouTube page, stay tuned for more content in the future. And until then, stay locked in with the Straight Up Saints podcast, the destination for the Houdat Nation.